Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Naya or Knife Fizzle if you're a nasty. Right? And this is a little get ready with me, a um, little chit chat story time. So get your glass, cause we stay sipping. And let's get into the video. Okay, my lips are so dry. Wow, not gonna lie, I'm not even gonna tell you guys the time because that would be embarrassing. All I wanna tell you that it's before 12 and I'm drinking wine, that's embarrassing. But it's locked down, so no judgments. And it's a Sunday, so technically this is like a brunch mimosa situation, even though it's not brunch. Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? So, I thought, thought, today I would do, I need a mirror. So today I thought I'd do a little story time. I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys like if you wanted to hear a story of like the time I got the ick. Sorry, my hands are just not clean right now. <sighs> Can we begin? <gasps> Exhausted. I asked on my Instagram, <laughs> I asked on my Instagram whether you guys would be interested in hearing like a story time from back when I got the ick. And um, you guys are, yeah, go for a girl. So anyway, so today is a little story time of the time. I got the ick. Now, before I even start, like, I feel like some people, do you, I feel like everyone knows what the ick actually is. But the ick is basically like when you are speaking to a guy and then you just get turned off by something really, really minuscule. I think it has to be minuscule. I think so. But something very, very like insignificant that you shouldn't be turned off by, but like you get turned off by it. I get turned off by like the most randomest thing, like honestly, but anyway. So my lips are dry and I just can't bother to find any lip balm, so I'm gonna put primer on my lips. <laughs> the ghetto. A long time ago, I must have went out with a few friends that I used to work with. And yeah, we went out to the club and it was really, really fun. It was one of, one of, her, it was one of our friend's birthdays. So I we went to the club and it was like a lit night. Like everyone was turning up. Obviously my table was where it was at. Like the bottles were coming in. The girls, the sparks were doing their thing. Like it was the, it, it was, it was the whole situation. It was a good night. Okay. So anyway, like the night's going on. Like everyone's in a good mood, having like a good time. And then this one guy on the table opposite me. Oh my God, I need to put my beauty blenders. Ugh. Uh. Yeah, there was this one guy on the table opposite us and originally I really wasn't checking for my man because when I'm at the club, I don't really feel like guys at the club or any are worth anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, first of all, why are you in the club? Fair enough why am I in the club, but why are you in the club? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's a weird situation. So anyway, he was trying to get my attention. I kept kind of like just swerving it because so I just wasn't really here. I'm just here to have fun with my girls. And then a little commotion happened. Best believe, right? So, let me even paint the picture. So where our table was, there was like a table right next to it. And on this table, there was this big like guy who was just big and just taking up bare circumference. So, not trying to be rude or anything, like there's nothing wrong with being big, but he was just taking up bare space. So I'm standing behind him and like every time he dances, they keep barging into me. So I'm just like, okay, like I turn on, I'm like, can you just like chill? Like, you literally keep hitting me. And he was like, chill man, no one's trying to move to you. I was like, wait, what? Like, do you know, do you know I'm just so confused? Because I politely just asked you not to barge into me. And then you're assuming that I think you're trying to move to me? The audacity. So anyway, I like flip my switch. By the way, I'm drunk. And when I'm drunk here, I'm just on crutch. I don't even know why, like, because I can't fight no one, okay? I can't fight, but I am ready to fight. Like, I'm ready to square up. And obviously, um, he must have paid for it, paid for his table. So um, one of the guys, obviously, I'm a black woman getting rowdy. So obviously, I'm looked at as the, as the aggressor. Mm -mm. So um, one of the guys, the one of the guys who like is like a table. You think people take care of me when you're on the table? He like pulls me to the side, like takes me outside. And he was like, "Are you okay? Like just calm down." Da, 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 da. And I was just like, "Hold on a second. How is he gonna t talk to me wrong?" I'm the anyway, whatever. So anyway. The guy that kept trying to talk to me throughout the night, he obviously saw the commotion. So he came outside to check if I was okay. Check if I was okay. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go home. Cause I'm just like, this just ruined my vibe. And he was like, no, like don't go home. Like stay, don't let him like ruin your night. All of this stuff. Yeah, all of this stuff. So I was like, okay, fine. Like it's actually true. Like I shouldn't go home because of this, this actual heifer. But towards the end of the night, he was actually really nice. So I feel like he realized that he was in the wrong. He there was he was like, oh, like, do you want some of my drink? And obviously I'm thinking, no, I don't want any of your, your nasty ass guilt drink. But you know, he felt bad. So that night kept going. And then obviously I was with this guy that helped me and made me feel like better. So he kept speaking to me or seeking da 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 da. We then exchanged phone numbers. Cause I was like, do you know what? Like you were really nice for coming outside and checking on me, whatever. So 
my mistake. So the next few days after that, like we were messaging back and forth. Um, I'm a big fan of FaceTimes. So like if you FaceTime me, Okay. So then he just started like randomly FaceTiming me. I was thinking, okay, I like the confidence. Hi. So we and him started FaceTiming a lot, whatever. And he was like, oh, like, do you want to like go for a meal? I was like, okay, like, why not? This is bearing mind after like I finished shift at work. Um, but his car had broken down. He was like, oh, like, would you mind like coming to grab me? I now drive for 30 minutes to where he is situated. And then I pull up outside his house. I'm like, hey, like, I'm outside. He walks out and like, bearing in mind, the car I had at this point was, um, it was a decent car, like it wasn't anything special, but it was a decent car. So he then pulls up and he was like, cheese, is that you? Yeah, gets his Snapchat out. He's like, cheese, like, look what's picking me up. Mm, I just bear Snapchat, I mean, I'm just like, this shit is embarrassing. Like, have you never seen a car like this before? Like, and the thing is, I don't think my car was even that special, but anyway. So he's just there Snapchat and it just getting very excited. And like, I'm just like, whatever. So he jumps in. Oh no, I wasn't really meant to put foundation on my forehead. So anyway, he jumps into the car and I have a really, really, really bad headache at this point. Like my headache has been awful since work. So I was like to him, I'm not gonna lie, like I have a really, really bad headache. So do you mind driving? Because I just, I feel like I can't. He was just like, what, are you serious? I was just like, yeah, like please, like it's only like 20 minutes from where he lived, like please. So he was like, okay, fine, cool. So we then like swap and he gets into the driver's seat. <laughs> we start driving. <laughs> 10 minutes into this journey. Let me know why my man has pulled out his phone, got out his Snapchat and started snapping the steering wheel like jeez and like he kept making me at this point i think like a gunner album must have come out or something but he kept making me replay the same song on this album a million times just for him to get like, the perfect like driving snap oh my god it was the cringiest thing ever the cringiest thing ever i'm like i'm just sat there dying from secondhand embarrassment like i can't even like i don't even have to tell him like this is actually you're doing too much like I, I didn't even have the words to articulate myself because I was so embarrassed. Like, how is this someone that I'm going out with? Like, how are you so excited by that? No. So um, we end up getting to the place now, getting to the venue. We go inside. I'm like, listen, I'm just gonna have to firm this meal because the way I feel, well, my lips are dry, honey. So I'm just like, I have to firm this meal. Like, there's no way I'm going home. Like, I'm so far from my house. Like, I've already picked him up and taken him here. Like, I actually need to firm this. So we're in the restaurant eating, whatever, the meal's nice, combo's good, whatever. In my head I'm thinking, this is the last time I'm seeing this guy, so I really just don't care. I'm gonna order whatever the hell I want, okay? I'm not, like, sometimes when I go on dates with guys, I'm very mindful of like what I order on the bill. I don't know why, like, I let them order first, gauge how much their order is, and then that's when I like, order my own thing, like, based on how much they, I don't know, I'm weird like that, I don't know why. But this time, I didn't care. I didn't give a heck this time, okay? I said, I'm gonna order what I like. I'm going to eat. I ain't never seen this guy ever again. I'm there, like, I'm ordering my food, whatever. So the night is kind of done. And, like, we're going back to the car because I'm dropping, gonna drop him back at home. But then I realised that I forget something inside the restaurant. So I'm just like, okay, like, just wait in the car. Like, I left my jacket inside the restaurant. He was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then we're gonna be right back because I... It's not gonna, it's not gonna bang. And we back, brows, brows be done. Okay, I can't remember where we in the story. Oh, restaurant. I forget something inside. So I go back in to go and grab what I have forgotten. And then upon coming out, why have I seen him like get out of the driver's seat and then like jump and like start going back around to the passenger? And I was just thinking like, what? Cause I know I didn't agree to let him drive back home. So I was just a bit like, Doing. But I didn't put two into together, I just ignored it and just kept it moving. I just wanted to get home at this point, I ain't got time for you. I end up like driving him home, dropping him home, and then like I end up going back to my house. So, I go back to my house now, I go onto Snapchat, and let me know why this guy has uploaded something to Snapchat with a picture of my steering wheel, and on the caption it said, if you owe me money and you'd it paid today in full. I was like, 
like, hold on, if I have the picture, I'm going to add it, attach it here, but I was like, hold on, we're not going to act like this is your, we're not going to act like this is your car, are, are you going to act like this is your, this is your car, like, is this what we're doing? No, like, <laughs> no, like, No, like the embarrassment, the second hand embarrassment I had, I wanted to throw up. I swear, after that, I could not, I could not even speak to him ever again. Like, I did not speak to him again. He would message me, I would just ignore it, like, and I feel bad, I just ghosted. But at the same time, like, how do you tell someone that you have embarrassment by his excitement? Like, like how, like how does that conversation even come about? And for me, it was like, I can't even tell you that your excitement was embarrassing because I feel like you don't think it's embarrassing. Like, how are you not embarrassed by yourself? That's my question. At some point I had to tell him why I ghosted. So he must have hit me up around my birthday, like, oh, happy birthday, whatever. And um, I was like, do you know what? I'm feeling festive. I'm feeling festive. Let me tell him why I ghosted. Cause I felt bad. Cause he was like, yeah, like what happened? Like you kind of just stopped re responding. And I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna be honest. Like, I just found it really embarrassing, like how excited you were about like things that I had. Like, or, like this sounds so. This sounds so bad. This sounds really bad. But like, I just, I just find it a bit like embarrassing how excited you got over small things. Like, to me, like I want a guy who's these things not like these things are natural to them because obviously nice things are new to everyone like even to me like having nice things i'm not wearing any of my necklaces like i was saying like i, I don't mind that you get excited by nice things because obviously nice things are new to everybody like it's i didn't grow up with nice things you know what i mean so like having them is exciting but for me i the way i envision my life like one day i'm gonna be on a private jet okay i'm gonna be on a red eye you feel me? So I don't want you to be, ex like I want you to feel like I deserve to be here. Like I was made to be here. You feel me? Like that's just how I view my life personally. And I just feel like that's how other people should view their lives personally. Because the excitement was just too, it was just too embarrassing. Like I can't, I can't, I can't. But I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just being, maybe I was just being extra. But after that, he was very much like, okay, like I get it, whatever. Like I was just really excited all of that stuff so end of the day like he's a cool he's not a bad person he's a nice guy but that to me was just so icky that i just couldn't like where do we go from here where, where do we go from here you know what i mean like it just it was just too embarrassing it was just way too embarrassing and once you embarrass me ha 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 honey there's not really anywhere we can go from here i've gotten the ick over the most pettiest of things like i want to this is really bad. I once got the ick because I was this guy that I was speaking to. It wasn't anything serious. I was just speaking to him, and um, he must. We all must have went to one restaurant in um, a really nice restaurant someplace, and he wore the same shoes that he wore to the restaurant to like the park, and I was just like, hmm. like I don't mind if you only have one pair of shoes do you know what i mean like that's okay but at least make the pair of shoes be a really nice pair of shoes like why am i seeing you in the same trainer you went to the park to a restaurant like we need some variation we need some variation like i i can't <laughs> i can't so anyway, from that on, like, I just kind of just put him in the friend zone, like, you know, you're just, we just want to be friends, honey. You want to be friends, you want to, like, make out all the way, strong, 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 maybe. But, like, apart from that, like, it can't really go anywhere, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the shoes. I don't know, I feel like with me, like, dressing is just so important. Like, how you dress, how you carry yourself, like, all these things are just so important to me. So when I see someone that just doesn't care, thing is, though, like, don't get twisted, there'll be days where I don't care, like, a few days where I literally walk out in my pajamas to the shop and back again. I don't really care, like at me, <laughs> literally at me. But um, I don't know. I just feel like there's a time and a place, like certain places, you just need to step your pussy up. Like step your pussy up. You feel me? Like just certain time, you just gotta step it up. Like I get it. Sometimes you're just not bothered, but just sometimes you gotta give me a little shot, shot. Give me a little something, something to work with. Okay. So anyway. <sighs>
all the products that I use are going to be in the description box below because I can't really talk and tell you what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it. And a certain way I would like my guy to be, and to be honest, guys have get ick over even more pettier things, in my humble opinion. A guy will get the ick over like a girl's job, over like, over a girl's dress set, if her wig smells, like, guys can get the ick over the most pettiest of things. That's why I never like cooking when I have my natural hair in, or have braids. I hate cooking when I have braids, honestly, oh my god. When my braids smell like plantain, I want to cry. I want to cry. Not because of guys get the ick because of it, but because like, yeah, guys can get the ick because of it. It's just really petty and small things like that, like, I don't know. Call me misogynistic, not misogynistic, that's not the word. Call me a materialistic person if you want. I don't care but i just feel like that's just how i be i don't want to see no one wearing the same shoes the sexy fish to the park okay oh my god so i need to update, update you guys on my life because so many things have been happening recently like i feel like i've really fallen off this whole youtube thing purely because i just have i feel like nothing interesting is really happening so it's like it's difficult for me to like film when nothing, when there's like nothing is happening, like nothing is happening in my life. Like I'm doing my masters, I'm like going to uni, we're in lockdown. Like there's nothing really exciting happening. And what's annoying is I actually had a holiday booked for this Monday coming, but by the time you've seen this, it's probably the Monday gone. This Monday gone, I had a holiday booked and I wasn't able to go, obviously, oh my God, I've lost so many lashes. Obviously because of lockdown. So like, People don't understand how badly, and like, I thought as human beings, we need to be able to travel. Like, we need to be able to explore and see new things. Like, being in the same space for as long as I've been in this country for doesn't even feel humane. Like, being in this country for as long as I've been in it for is just, it's so unnatural to me. I used to literally go on holidays twice a year, at least. This is the longest I've probably been in the UK in one sitting. Like, I really, really wanted this trip to happen just so I could get some inspiration and just feel like, and just feel something new. And it wasn't anywhere crazy. It was only Malta. That in itself was enough for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was going to go on the Game of Thrones tour. I was going to visit all these, like, historical landmarks. Like... I planned to do so much in my trip there. Like I made a whole itinerary. I packed my suitcase. I packed my suitcase with the intention that I am leaving. I am leaving. And then Boris with his fat self just came and tried to talk his nonsense on the news. But like, I've just been so, I've just been so upset about it. Honestly, I've been so upset and just been so down about the whole situation. I feel like I'm just trying to not think about it too tough because if I think about it too much, I'm actually gonna get sad and might and I might even cry. Then I'm gonna cry for everything, so that's not even a surprise. So I'm just trying to focus on the positive things. Like honestly, putting on makeup today has made me feel so good. I made me feel so good. I just feel like myself, even though it's just makeup and I shouldn't rely on makeup to feel normal, but there's just something so nice and just baking your face, putting it together. By the way, guys, oh my god, sorry, little makeup thing. I'm obsessed with this Tammy Revolution palette. Like I'm actually I absolutely love it. I absolutely like do you see that it's so inexpensive and it just does what it needs to do i think it's like the perfect blusher the perfect blusher for dark skin because it's very pigmented like you can you can see that you know and it just gives you this nice warm sun-kissed look and i just really really love it basically i know i know it's locked down but because i was meant to travel I'm gonna travel with my boyfriend because it was his birthday. So instead of just having like, I basically organized for all his friends to come over and for us to have a little Friendsgiving. And basically Friendsgiving is when like everybody cooks a dish and just plays games, drinks. I mean, all just vibe, you know, just catch a serious vibe. Yeah, so anyway, so I've organized for all his friends to come over and for us to just sort of like chill, have a nice little Friendsgiving. So he's just like, you don't need to dress up. Like it's just gonna be me, you and my mom. Like, you don't need to do anything, but. <laughs> He doesn't know. So I'm really trying to rush my makeup so I can just start cooking. What time is it? I don't even, well, actually I don't want to know because it's gonna stress me out. So I got him the cutest gift. So like, he is the most unorganized, not unorganized, but he just lacks organization skills and a lot of those at that. So I got him like a little diary. 
and also I got him like a card holder, like a personalized card holder with his like initials on it, which I just think is just so cute. Like my brows aren't the best that they could be, but I kind of just like them to be a bit more like on the bushy side. So anyway, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna be right back because like I said, we haven't got time. Okay, so my hair did not lay the way I wanted to, but do you know what it is what it is? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm literally deciding to wear this little ASOS two-piece that I have. I'm gonna link it in the description box below if you wanna get it. I'm gonna just spray Carolina. I spray too much. I spray too much. But anyway, yeah. My hair is not really the way I want it to, but I'm gonna re-put really my scarf on it again and then just set it again because this is gonna stress me out and it's just not gonna last the whole day. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, give it a thumbs up so I know what kind of content you guys wanna see. And also follow me on all my socials so I talk more about my content there. And yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bing.